Well, hello everybody. This is my YouTube channel. Woo! Today I would like to paint something on camera for you guys. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to time lapse this. Blink-182, anyone? Um, so you remember this that I talked about? I'm gonna finish this one. <laughs> Which is a raccoon holding a half and half apple, like, you know, half like red, half green. This is based on like a true story. I was shopping with somebody and we grabbed a bunch of apples to eat and one in the bunch was exactly half and half. Plus I didn't have black paint when I started working on this. I know it kind of looks black, but it's mostly like a very, very, very dark bluish brown. Um, but I think, you know, as paint goes, I actually like using black, unlike some artists. I just really try not to mess with it in safflower oil. That's a super cute look. How I started this painting was I matched the green to whichever green that I had in my collection and I'm pretty sure I chose the right one. It looked perfect and so I made the darker areas on the outermost edges and then I added some white to the inner edges near to the raccoon which makes it look like it's caught in uh, headlights like you know it's caught in the trash like oh you caught me I've got an apple now haha <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? So then I worked with the apple. I started with the greens, added some white highlights, and then I worked with the reds. And unfortunately, the red paint that I used was very liquidy. Um, and so I, you know, had to clean up its drips a little bit from time to time. And then I had to add shadows and ha more highlights. And still the red paint was very difficult to work with, but I, I got through with it. And I got the beginning stages of the apple complete. And then here you can kind of see that I added more deeper shadows to the apple, and I also added some reflective light. Unfortunately, I forgot to film a little bit of the apple painting, but here's me adding some really bright highlights and uh, just adding some details to the apple itself to really make it stand out. So here I'm adding the darkest shadows, which is just a combination of the primaries and a little tiny little bit of black. And then I began to add more white to his fur to make it more detailed. And I added highlights to his eyes, his nose, and I even added some reflective light on the fur around him. And then I added some more shading to the apple to really make it blend in. So this is how the painting looks. I am so very proud of myself for really pulling this out of my imagination. And I especially like the way that I used the reflective light on his fur. That's something I hadn't tried before with a portrait painting. And I'm really glad that it worked out well. And I'm gonna keep doing that because it definitely was an aspect of this painting that I had a lot of fun with. I would really like to make more time lapses of my paintings for you guys. And so if you liked this video, like the video, and if you want to see more, follow my channel. And if you want to see something more specific, please leave a comment. I'm open to new ideas. I hope that you'll stick around for the next video.